Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. It was once said in the comments section that I talk too much and yeah, I'll take that. It's just kind of the way I am though, so I'm not going to apologise for it. But on the flip side, I do take the point that some people just want to see the games. So in this video, I'm going to absolutely blast through the collection. Probably like five seconds of flipping game, something like that. I've got a hundred, I counted them the other day. I thought I had more actually, but... I've got 158 games, so in this video, we're going to blast through all 158 games. I'll I'll show you the covers, give you the names, and maybe I'll say one or two words about them, but I'm not I'm not going to drag it out. So without further ado, here we go. Dragon Quest Builders 2, love it. Skyrim Anniversary, rip off. Super Monkey Ball, blah, 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 Super Monkey Ball Banana Mania. Uh, value for money. Pick that up like 20 quid. Yakuza Judgment. Love it. Battle Axe. Classic game. I've got another video with a quick review on that. Earth Defense Force 4.1. Yeah, not amazing, but a good fun multiplayer. Seven. Uh, yeah, top down RPG. You're a thief. Watch Dogs Legion. Uh, yeah, it's alright, but yeah, it's no GTA. Toki, a uh, remaster of, I think it was originally on the Mega Drive, or the Master System. Good game. Scott Pilgrim vs. The World. Great game. Love this. Had to get myself a physical copy. Uh, the Ratchet & Clank remake. I think it's pretty under underrated. Uh, cinematics are great in it. It's good fun. Earthstone, uh, side-scrolling action RPG. Penguin Wars. Somebody recommended that to me. It's like Dodgeball. Final Fantasy X and X2, don't really need to say much about that, but yeah, both great games. Mad Max, everyone's mentioning this as a bit of a hidden gem, uh, kind of like Arkham style fighting and customising your vehicle. Yeah, it's pretty good. Rock of Ages 3, brilliant game, underrated. The Dwarves, uh, not played much of it, really freaking hard. <laughs> um, yeah, check it out, you can keep, pick it up for about tenner. Slide Stars, absolute garbage. Mega Man Legacy Collection 2, brilliant. Red Faction Gorilla, brilliant. Um, I think this is, yeah, remastered. Uh, <laughs> it's a remake of the, well, not a remake, sorry, a remaster of the, uh, it was on the 360 and PS3. Wreckfest, one of the best driving games going, in my opinion. Titan Quest, I think, Diablo, uh, but, like, it was a mobile game, I think, initially, and then uh, they've kind of pimped it out for consoles. The base version of the game isn't great, but once it's patched, it's pretty good. Fire Pro Wrestling, best racing racing game, <laughs> best wrestling game out there. Awesome Knots Assemble. Not much to say about that, to be honest. Outcast RPG, I think it was on the PC. They brought it out again, remastered it. Nine Monks of Shaolin, um, maybe like Streets of Rage in... Kind of a, I don't want to say medieval, uh, you know, in that kind of dynasty period. That's probably the best way I can describe it. Wargroove, Think Advanced Wars. This is the deluxe edition, so there's some DLC in there. That's actually really good. Tons of content in that. Mad Rat Debt, unique platformer, uh, where you kind of like move into the beat of the music. Really good music in that as well. Mother Gunship, uh, like a roguelike, uh, where you can kind of pimp out your guns and have like five different guns on each arm. Mega Man, the first Mega Man Legacy Collection. I actually prefer this one to the second one. Um, also really good. I got some stickers in there, which is cool. Streets of Rage, uh, Anniversary Edition, Mr. X Nightmare. Uh, loads of extra content on that, like the survival mode and extra characters. Um, XCOM 2 uh, Collection, so includes the DLC, War for the Chosen. Four DLC packs in there, apparently. So yeah, definitely value for money in that. Solid game, though. Jagged Alliance, not played it yet. Looks like a turn-based RPG, kind of like XCOM-esque. Nino Kuni 2, my friend bought this for me. I've not even played it yet, so I can't really comment too much. Journey to the Savage Planet, a uh, good humor in this. A uh, good, fun exploration game. God of War, not played it yet, just picked it up cheap. Pixar looks like Minecraft and Ark Survival Evolved combined. Not played it yet. Sign Mora EX, really decent um, shmup. 
Agalos 8-bit style, uh, Zelda style adventure. Dungeons 3, uh, basically Dungeon Keeper, they try to do their own version of it. It's alright, it's not great. Strange Brigade, good multiplayer fun. Deathwing, not played too much of it yet, Enhanced Edition. Yeah, pretty cool, um, probably one of the... I like the uh, 40k games, the Warhammer 40k, where you actually get to go around and just blast the hell out of stuff with a bowler. That's pretty good. Uh, Gravity Rush 2, played quite a bit of it. Uh, I actually preferred the first one, not going to lie. Tour Jam and Earl, this was a limited run. Concrete Genie, yeah, unfortunately I got the German version. <laughs> My German's a little bit uh, rusty. Val Faris, uh, kind of Metroidvania with like a metally aesthetic and music, pretty good. Death Watch, uh, basically like a glorified mobile game, but it was Warhammer turn based. It's all right, but yeah, I wouldn't pay more than five quid for that one if I'm being honest. You feel ripped off. Uh, Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy, Deponia Collection. I bought this because it's value for money. Four different adventure games in one. Ion Fury, uh, I think like Duke Nukem, but with like a woman. Neverwinter Nights Enhanced Edition, this was on the PC originally. I uh, played a bit of it, want to play some more. It was kind of strange because I'm used to the Baldur's Gate style games, um, you know, being a party, but you can have like one person, and, and I think you can have one other person run around with you, so it's, it's yeah, it's a bit different. Uh, Near Automata or Automata, whatever we say, I think it's Automata as they're supposed to say it. Day One Edition, uh, yeah, that game's awesome spoke about that before uh dreams awesome anything creative i love it warhammer vermin side 2 need to play this some more uh once i kind of start playing this with a friend i think that'd be good fun assassin's creed odyssey i i don't really buy assassin's creed games creed assassin's greed yeah that's probably more accurate uh assassin's creed games normally but this one uh yeah it's really good it's actually really good Almost too much content. Uh, Sexy Brutal, that's like an adventure kind of puzzle game uh, with like a time traveling mechanic. Really good, really unique. Good music in it as well. Matfall, seen this, uh, recommended a few hidden gems. Um, what was that game that came out when the PlayStation came out? And you could blow stuff up and they all shattered into little blocks. It's the same makers as that. Resogun, that was it. Uh, Tekken 7, yeah, all right. But to be honest, I might end up picking up the edition with all the DLC and stuff. There's a ton of content missing, all my games just fell over there. Final Fantasy Type O HD, yeah, I think it was on the PSP, and then they like remastered it. That was a limited edition, apparently. Uh, the first Nino Kuni, played a little bit of it, need to play some more. And it was good what I played, though, it was good. Doom Eternal, I don't know if it's a bit controversial, I actually prefer Doom. I just thought Doom was better. Um, I just, the, the new style of play in this game didn't really suit me. I know a lot of people like it, but it's not really for me. Overcooked and Overcooked 2, it was 2 in 1, so I thought, why not? When your friends are around playing that, it's good fun. I tend to play it on Xbox at the moment, though. Uh, Black Guards 2, uh, like a top-down, turn-based RPG again. Um, not played it yet, but apparently it's alright. Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 1 and 2, yeah, that was the, the remastered it, didn't they? Uh, it's pretty good as well from what I played of it. It plays exactly like the original games. Uh, Dragon Cat Quest, Edition of Light, Echoes of an Elusive Age, Dragon Quest XI, bloody hell, that was a bloody mouthful. Not played it yet, really want to play that one, will do at some point. Uh, Commandos 2 HD Remaster and Praetorians HD Remaster. Uh, played Commandos 2, the controls are bloody all over the place. Doesn't d go well to console. Not played Praetorians yet. Uh, Dragon Quest Heroes 2, yeah, I played it a bit. To be honest, it wasn't really my cup of tea. Might need to go back to that at some point. Resident Evil 3, uh, yeah, all right, not as good as the Resident Evil 2 uh, remake. Blood Bowl 2, can't wait for Blood Bowl 3. Uh, Torment, Tides of Numeria, I think this was like supposed to be a sequel to like the Planescape games. So if you get to try that one out, yeah, that's another one somebody bought for me. Man Eater, great game. Um, this is the day one edition, but I think there's other editions out with more DLC. Uh, so if you can like look for that, they're probably quite cheap now as well. Definitely one that I think's gone under the radar. 
Uh, SpongeBob Battle for Bikini Bottom. Yeah, all right. It was a very basic platformer. Um, yeah, it wasn't. It wasn't really for me. Uh, Divinity Original Sin 2, absolutely incredible, probably one of the best RPGs I've ever played. Pick this one up, definitely. Uh, Elix, not played this yet, it's fucking RPG, we just play some generic guy by the looks of it. Medieval, brilliant, brilliant, uh, we, could you call this a remake? Yeah, I'd call it a, re a remake, really. Uh, yeah, great game, good fun. I got right to the end boss and then um, I didn't get stuck, I just didn't even attempt it. So I need to go back to that and just finally complete it. Uh, Rocksmith, brilliant game if you're into your guitar. Like, yeah, just good fun. I love games that like where you can learn something and get better at something in the process. Right, hopefully oh, we're in 12 minutes already. Uh, Velocity Critical Mass Edition. I absolutely love this game. Platinum the hell out of it. Had it on my Vita. This has all the DLC. Absolutely amazing game. The music is incredible in that game. Uh, Morbid, the Seven Acolytes, not played it, but it looked, looked like a kind of a 16-bit Souls-like sort of game. It was cheap, so I picked it up. Uh, Final Fantasy VIII, uh, this is the remastered edition, not played it yet. I completed that back in the day, but yeah, I just, I love that game, it's great. Baldur's Gate 1 and 2, I had these on PC, absolutely uh, amazing, love it. The controls actually adapted quite well uh, for that. You wouldn't have thought so, but I... Once you get a hang of them, they're pretty good. Uh, Horizon Zero Dawn, yeah, I played a bit of it. It is a good game, I can't deny. Um, I unlocked like loads of different armors, but they all look really goofy and stupid, and it really put me off. I know that's like a stupid reason to not play it, but there you go. That's me. I'm just shallow. Um, Divinity Original Sin Enhanced Edition. So this is the first one. This is this is also an amazing game. Uh, if you could play them in order, do you could probably pick these up pretty cheap now? But yeah, they're absolutely quality. Phantom Pain, don't really need to say much about that. Vikings, Wolves of Midgard. Uh, yeah, I think Diablo 3, but with Vikings. And a bit blander. <laughs> uh, Kills on Shadowfall, it was just disgustingly cheap. I think that came out when the PS4 did. Uh, it's alright, it's a passable shooter. Graphics are nice. Uh, the Surge, obviously the Surge 2 is out now. But yeah, this is pretty fun. I love how you could like chop enemies limbs off and stuff and that's how you got your items it's a pretty good mechanic uh the first vermintide probably won't touch that now i have vermintide 2 uh lego worlds absolutely amazing runs like absolute shite um don't know if it's better on the pro or the ps5 i'd be really interested to see how this runs on the ps5 because this game you could create some insane stuff with all the different variations of bricks you've got absolutely amazing uncharted 4 don't need to say much about that Borderlands The Handsome Collection, just bargain, absolute bargain. I think it's the pre-sequel in Borderlands 2. Uh, Titanfall 2, a game that, yeah, kind of went under the radar a little bit. Uh, Wipeout Omega Collection, again, value for money, it's got all the Wipeout games. Assassin's Creed Rogue Remastered, I loved Black Flag and I thought, oh, more Black Flag, but I kind of went back and played it and it, it just felt a bit cumbers cumbersome to me, so, yeah. Uh, maybe I'll give it another try at some point. GTA 5, nothing to say about that. Resident Evil Revelations, yeah, they brought it out on the PS4. Thought I'd give it a try. I did, it was alright, it was decent. Um, but yeah, I might have to go back to that place some more. Lords of the Fallen, uh, basically wannabe Dark Souls. It's not actually that bad, graphics are nice. It just plays like this generic guy. Uh, I think you pick like one of three classes, but as you go along in the game, the, your class becomes less relevant. Uh, yeah, the first, the first Doom. Um, that was, like I said, I prefer that to Doom Eternal. Valkyrie Chronicles Remastered, absolutely amazing game. So yeah, picked it up. I've got this multiple times now. Uh, Worms, WMD All-Stars. Can't really remember much about this, but it's just Worms. <laughs> Battlefront, I think I platinumed it. Need for Speed Payback. Uh, yeah, I, I thought that was crap, I'm not going to lie. NHL 19, it was cheap, um, a lot of my mates will play NHL games with me because they're so fast paced, they're just fun. Hack, hack G.U, oh, last record, yeah, um, it's alright, yeah, uh, yeah, I'm not going to say too much about that one, I'll be here all day. Darksiders Genesis, uh, yeah, awesome, awesome, well, two player awesome, single player a bit boring. 
Uh, Yakuza Kiwami 2. Yakuza is always a winner in my book. Um, Wonderful 101. Uh, yeah, they released it on the PS4. It was originally on the Wii U. Uh, yeah. I've not played it yet, though. You can see it's still, see, still sealed. Marvel Super Heroes, a platinum disc. Uh, probably one of the best LEGO games I've played, not going to lie. I love that you could be on, like, the shield carrier. And there's so many characters to unlock. Ace Combat 7, love flying games. This was brilliant. Completed it. Completed it, mate. Uh, Left Alive. This is a game that got a bit, like, ripped on. Uh, Metal Gear kind of style, art style. Not played it yet. It's got ripped on a lot, but I just thought I wanted to kind of test it in myself. It was only, like, six quid. Shadows Awakening, think Diablo, but with like a gimmick of switching between like realms. Uh, yeah, I think it's got some like decent reviews, this to be fair, uh, but I've not really given it enough time yet. Uh, Yakuza Remastered Collection, I think this is Yakuza, mm, Yakuza 3, 4, and, and 5. So yeah, I was kind of on one trying to get all the Yakuza's. Um, Mud Runner American Wilds, I believe this has all the DLC. I've not played it yet, but I keep meaning to. I've got a steering wheel, I really love to play that with the steering wheel. Um, Little Town Hero Big Idea Edition, yeah, this is a beast. I've not even cracked this bad boy open yet, but this is a game that um, it was made by Game Freak who did like the Pokemon games. And yeah, it didn't get received that well, uh, but I have a feeling in time that people are going to really look back on that with some fondness, uh, because it's quite unique in the way it plays. Exmorph Defense, uh, bought it, this, I think this was like a limited run, there's only like 3,000 copies or something. Uh, it is like a, it's a tower defense game with like little, little bits of a twist. Um, the Witcher Wild Hunt, I just thought, oh, yeah, it's cheap, you've got all the DLC on there, and uh, to be honest, I've never really sat down and played The Witcher properly, so I meant to give that a try at some point. Uh, Outward, this was like a co-op, kind of a Bolivian style game, um, I really wanted to play it with my friend, I actually played it solo myself, and I'm not too keen on it, I'm not going to lie, but you know, I think it's paid like 10 quid for it, so it's not too bad. Sniper Elite V2 Remastered, got a love of slow-mo bullets going through people's skulls, or shooting them in a nutsack. Uh, <laughs> Planescape, Tormen, uh, yeah, awesome game, I only played a little bit of it to be fair, but I did enjoy what I played, Icewind Dale, played the hell out of that, uh, yeah, love those styles of games, the Baldur's Gate style, Rogue Stormers, uh, some indie, uh, uh, I can't even really describe what it is, because I've not really played it that much, but I, I didn't really take to it when I played it, but it was cheap. Uh, Wild Hearts, this is a unique game, I picked this up not too long ago, um, I think I paid about 12 quid for it, um, it's a very short game, um, it's like moving to the beat of music, um, through levels, it's very, like, stylish, um, yeah, all, you can literally play for the entire game in, like, an hour or two hours, um, but yeah, it's pretty decent if you can pick it up cheap. Lock's Quest, this was originally, I think it was on the DS originally, it's like a tower defense style game, uh, I played it on the PS4 for a bit, and I think previously I've covered it and said it was really laggy, it's not actually that laggy now, I think they've patched a lot of the lag out, uh, it, but it's a very difficult game, very challenging. Generation Zero, not played it yet, another one that kind of got poo-pooed, I think there was like a bit of hype for it and then it got poo-pooed when it came out, but I thought, yeah, why not give it a try? It was cheap anyway, that's the main thing. Uh, you can't believe see the cover on this one. Uh, Darkest Dungeon, uh, the collector's edition. I think it's got all the DLC. So I was like, Darkest Dungeon with all the DLC, absolute no-brainer. Especially now the second one's coming out. World of Final Fantasy. I used to have this on my PS Vita and it was really good, so I picked it up for the PS4. <sighs> We're nearly there. Uh, Resident Evil Origins Collection. Uh, Resident Evil Zero and the first Resident Evil. Yeah, brilliant. They still look awesome to this game. To this game. <laughs> to this day. When they're on the GameCube and, and they kind of re remaster it, it looked great. And then adding that to HD is just amazing. Uh, Genesis Alpha 1. This one is like a roguelike game, uh, sci-fi style. Uh, the base game, when you put it in, if you don't install the patch, it is very basic. But with the patch, it adds so much more content. Um, so yeah, that's one that, you know, in time, you're going to want to keep the patch on your hard drive. Uh, Mafia 3, I've not played it yet, but it was cheap, so I picked it up. I know that got poo-pooed a little bit. Uh, Desperados 3, uh, this is, was, I know this is in the same vein of Shadow Taxis, which I played and loved. Uh, and this is like in a Wild West setting, so I thought, no-brainer, 10 quid. It's actually on Game Pass at the moment, I think, as well. Dissidia, this is so disgustingly cheap at the moment. Everyone was hyped for it, and then, again, got poo-pooed. Well, really cheap. Not even opened it yet. Resident Evil 2, yeah, awesome. Brilliant game, loved it. Yakuza Kiwami, so that was the first Yakuza. Technically. <laughs> uh... 
Final Fantasy Zodiac Age, yeah, uh, I have really enjoyed this. This is another Final Fantasy that kind of came out and I just never like touched base of it, but yeah, they really changed the battle system, but I actually quite liked it. Uh, and there's the box for X-Morph Defense, so <laughs> we've, already, we've already covered that one. Um, or maybe I've got 157 though, I might, I might, so I might have counted that twice. Uh, Bulletstorm, uh, full clip edition, yeah, another game that I think was a little underrated. It's kind of unique and it's like a first person shooter where you score points on the inventive ways you kill people. It's a really good idea. Uh, Sticks, Shards of Darkness, absolutely love this game, brilliant. Any Sticks game, love it. St stealth playing as a goblin, not often to get to play as a goblin, that's pretty cool. Shadow of War, don't really need to say much about that one. Wasteland 2 Directors Cut, this is actually really good, but again, really, really hard RPG. Mass Effect Andromeda, the less said about that, the better. Although, to be fair, the combat's really good, it's just everything else kind of sucks. Um, Deus Ex, Mankind Divided Day 1 Edition, yeah, this game is brilliant. I, I have really good, good, good uh, memories of that game. Uh, Safe Park, Fractured But Whole, completely the stick of truth, loved it, really funny. Uh, need to give this one a good, a good play. Yakuza 0, uh, you obviously set before the first Yakuza. Fallout 4, don't really need to say much about that one. Been references in it so many times, Diablo 3, brilliant game. Uh, destroy all humans. Yeah, that's really good. Uh, I played it on Game Pass and it was it was that good. I thought, right, I'm gonna buy a physical copy for the PS4. Uh, flashback anniversary edition. I've covered this before. This is one of those really balls hard adventure games, uh, like 16 bit style. I think it might have been on the Mega Drive originally. You get loads of stickers and, and little stuff with that one. It's quite cool. Um, Shadow Tactics. Yeah, this is the game I talked about earlier. Uh, like a, a tactical stealth game, kind of like Commandos in the same vein as Commandos. Um, Mutant Year Zero, this is a really good like turn-based uh, RPG game where you can like upgrade your different mutants and upgrade the powers and get different items. Uh, really good like world building in that game as well. That, that includes some DLC as well. Um, the Escapist and The Escapist 2. Not going to lie, I played these. I didn't like it. I didn't like them. Um, but it was two in one, so I thought, why not? Hitman 2, don't usually buy Hitman games, but yeah, this the, the different uh, levels on this game were quite like interesting, like the racetrack and... And the inventive way you could kill people was quite good. Uh, Mega Man 11, uh, brilliant, it's Mega Man, love it. Uh, Persona 5, I'm kind of holding out to until I can get the Royale Edition cheaper with all the DLC. But yeah, I have I played a lot of that and I absolutely loved it, it's brilliant. Um, Valkyria Chronicles 4, um, yeah, great game again. Uh, Dragon's Dogma Dark Arisen, pick this up dirt cheap. Very unique game in like, the way you do combat, like you can kind of... Jump on the back of enemies and attack them, hold on to them. Uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. The Last Guardian, uh, another game that kind of everyone there was so much like, hype for it, and then it came out, it got poo pooed because the way it controlled and it, it, it basically like a glorified PS2 game. But honestly, it's worth a play. I played all the way through it, and I did like it. it only took me about eight hours to complete it. Uh, next game, Oninaki. Can't say anything about this. My friend bought it, and I've still not cracked it open and played it yet. Um, it looks like an action JRPG style. He loves his bloody JRPGs, so. I remember once I said, oh, no, like, anime, anime JRPG style games, but, like, <laughs> yeah, my mates bought me a few, so, and, and then, we're, then we're going through a few of them anyway, so I might have been lying a little bit. Um, this guy, 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 Alliance of Vengeance, yeah, I uh, really enjoyed that. I got, like, the, uh, the soundtrack with it as well, and, like, an art book, that was pretty cool. Um, Shadow of the Colossus, that was, like, the remaster, really good. And yeah, and then Lego Marvel Avengers, because I love the first Lego Marvel game, I picked this up. I don't think it's as good, I'm going to be honest with you. This more probably ties in with the films. I kind of like the ones where they weren't really going off the film. They just went off all the characters in the universe and did whatever they wanted. So yeah, that is it. That is it. That is my entire collection. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Wow, I blasted them all out in 26 minutes. I'm pretty impressed with myself. <gasps> oh, maybe I can start talking a little bit slower now. But yeah, um, if you liked it, hit like, hit subscribe. I think what I'll do maybe in the future is talk about some individual games in more detail. I'm always expanding my collection, um, you know, a couple of games here and there. Enjoy the rest of your day and bye for now.